Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to a bit of a chaos today. Before we get started, I wanted to show you some things I picked up at a local craft fair. These are, she was, uh, the, the woman who was selling these sold them for a dollar a piece, a dollar a bag. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hidden paper clips in, in this bag. And I thought, oh, I like that idea. So I bought them so I could kind of reverse engineer how she did it. And I see how she did it. But I thought those were really cool. So I have some very nifty cluster type tags to put on things. And then she also had bags of ephemera for a dollar. And I do this sometimes at my craft fairs. I put out a, a bag of uh, just stuff, things, little leftover things that I have, and I thought this was also a cool idea, and it gave me a chance to get some extra scraps. And I said ephemera, they're scrap bags. So there's, some, there's a cluster in here, there's another cluster, a tab. Oh my glory, this is really cool. There's just a bunch of stuff that I can use. Oh look, a little booklet with horses on it. Cool. So anyway, I picked those things up. This was two dollars between the two of them. I spent two bucks. I could have spent a lot more. Believe me, I thought about spending a lot more. I decided not to. I went only with this. All right, so today we are packing. So I am going to be turning my camera around here and giving you kind of an overview of the whole craft room, which I'm going to warn you looks like a disaster area and we are going to pack. All right, be back soon. Okay, so I have moved you around so that you are now slightly facing differently. And the first thing I'm going to do is get out one of my big bags and we're gonna fill it up. So this one we're going to fill, ooh, I can use my light there to hold the handle back. This one we're going to fill with the project, projects, plural. So I have this great big bin and this has five journal pieces in it. That has, oops, don't unlatch on me. Okay, because there are five journal covers and the signatures and some scraps in there. I want to add in, I've already packed up another thing of scraps here and another thing of scraps. I have here some stickers. There's two things of big stickers from Current. I'm also going to put in here, these are all my book pages and music pages, and then I have a little bag of scraps, and they're all going to go in that great big bag. Okay. I think also in that bag is going to go my fan, because that'll slide right down along the side, because I'm told that you definitely want a fan at these places. I'm going to put in my um, tissue paper so that that's there. So these are all pieces that I will be able to use. They're all in little packets, all organized already. Okay, I have here also, this is my book binding kit. I have in here my twine. There's some my needles are in here. Oh, you know what? I do want another needle, another set of needles. Um, which ones do I want? Not those. I have all these packets of needles over here. So when I was going through, I think we'll take these. This is a set of antique needles, I suppose, uh, especially since they were only 60 cents. The when I went through the sewing machine, the 
manual sewing machine that I have downstairs, the antique one, and went through the drawers, there were all of these needles in there. And so I'm going to take some of them with me because who knows. So that's my bookbinding stuff. Um, what else can I fit in this bag? That might be it for now. So we're going to set that bag aside. There will Obviously there's more room, but we'll leave that for now. And we'll grab another bag. So I have another bag here. And this is going to be for all of the Christmas stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. So for that I have over here. These are uh, just Christmas pieces. There's pieces of Christmas in there. So we're going to put that one there. These are Christmas sentiments. And actually, I'm going to put that on top of there because that'll make sure that it doesn't tip over on me. I want to put in, these are all things for the, do I want to put that on the bottom? Maybe I want to put that one on the bottom. That is all covers, stuff for the covers. Okay, this is washi tape. Let me get that open. Oh my glory, it doesn't want to open, it's stuck. Come on, you went in, you gotta come out. Okay, we'll worry on about that in a minute. Let me pause and I'll get this t apart. I win. I think this piece was the one that was just, every time I picked it up, I kept picking up this piece instead. So I'm gonna throw you down along the side and kind of repack you so there aren't so many pieces hanging up. Um, can I fit more in here? Yes, I can. Okay. So the weather has turned definitely cold. It's 28 degrees this morning and lots and lots of frost. What I'm trying to do is stick in a couple more of these so they're not sticking up. And we'll throw that in like that. And there, washies are away. I do have another set of washies here. I'm going to throw them into that one box so I don't have to worry about them. Okay, I have here, this is just an empty box um, that I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. This is some Santa stuff. We'll put Santa down in there because those might be useful. These are just some loose papers, so I'm going to put those in with my other bag over here. I'll put that over there. This is actually going into this box. This is my ephemera box. This is my ephemera holder that has all sorts of things in it. Um, there are little pieces here. This will be beside me as I'm working. Get you all down in there. But there's all sorts of little pieces in here. So, yeah, we'll just take that one as a whole. I have, you know what I have here? I have my inks. I put my inks into this box. Can I fit that in there? I can. Okay, I have my inks. Oh, that goes in my, well, you know what? You're going to go in here for now. Okay, the inks can go in here. It's like Tetris. And then I have one more ink pad there. Let me just slide it in. So far, so good. Um, scissors. I wanted to bring some scissors that are not the normal scissors. So I don't know where I'm going to put those yet. Uh, this is not going with me. This is, and this is, these are um, obviously some stencils. This is actually the cover for that, so that works nicely there and we're just going to put that up like this those are all the finished ephemera that's all finished ephemera okay you know what let's put 
the little cutter in here because I'm running out of room to put anything else big in here. This is my stamping off page. I can put that with the other, I've got this whole bag of flat stuff. So, you know, if it's a flat piece, it's going in the flat bag. There we go. What else can fit in that little corner? All right, we're gonna set that aside. Oh, I know what I've got. Punches. I can throw some punches in there. I've got those punches that I wanna take. And I have this one from Stampin' Up! that I want to take. I should make these before we leave, before I leave, but I'm just, I'm not going to get to it. And I know that. So we're going to take the punches with us. And then that's a really cool punch. So we're going to take that punch too. This one I'm not going to take. Uh, yeah, what the heck. We'll take this one too. So there, that bag is packed. Oof. Two bags down. All right, I have to pause you while I go get another bag. I need a bigger bag. Okay, before I go and pack anything else, I need to cross off things that I have done and things that I still need to add. So I still need paper towels. I don't have hand wipes. I've got to go to the store and get some. Tissues I've got to get. Crocodile and eyelets. There's my crocodile. Let me grab my eyelets. Um, they're down here. I'm going to just set this here for the moment because that part is already packed. I'll grab my eyelets. And I just got some new eyelets for 95 cents that are bigger. We'll just go ahead and throw all of that together. Those can go in here. These are, okay, so crocodile and eyelets. I'm not bringing my big shot. Um, let's see what else I have here. My paper clips. I want to cross off paper clips because I have those here and those can go in along the side. Um, my book binding materials are already in. My ink pads and daubers are sort of kind of in. Some are, some are not. Okay, punches. So the tag toppers are in, the rest are not. Stamps I haven't even looked at yet. Uh, okay, book pages, music pages. I'm not bringing my cluster book. I don't need tracing paper. My dye papers are in my 12 by 12s. I need six by sixes, tissue paper, scrap paper. They're all in. Um, let's see. I have my ephemera or my uh, swatch book and my idea book. And I'm going to put those in that flat one over here. This one's very close to full now. There's still just a little bit more room, so we're okay. Um, and this is in my cat bag. So that one, I have to keep moving the chair. I should probably just move the chair right out of the room for the moment. Okay, what did I, where was I? Idea book and swatch book are in. The completed ephemera, the journal kits, those are all, and that doesn't mean anything. Words and sentiments, those are in. I'm not doing flowers or butterflies and my other stickers are in. Okay, we're moving right along. A lot of that stuff's already packed. Okay, so let's get another big bag right here. These are charms. I didn't see charms on there someplace. I'm going to add charms over here. I don't need this whole charm bag. This is charms and buttons. I'm just going to set that there for a minute because what I like about this one is it opens like this and I can just take the top. The top I have already set. These are the ones I want to take with me. So I only need to take that much. 
I don't have to take absolutely everything. This this is the hard part. I said you don't want to bring the whole craft room. I don't need to bring my whole craft room. So I've got this and this. This is still to go. This is still to go. And my scissors. I'm gonna put this away. You're getting a sneak peek there. If you were looking quick, you got a sneak peek as to a project that's coming up. Okay, I definitely want to bring these scissors. Uh Actually, no, I want to bring these. I don't need to bring my fabric scissors because I'm not cutting any fabric. The fabric is all done. Any fabric I'm going to do is done. Okay, so let's throw some pens into here as well. I can take the yellow out. I'm not going to use the yellow. I can take the white out. Um, but let's throw a couple of pens in here. What do we got? Just, this is going to be way too full. I might need to bring a second mug because I have all these pens and I definitely like to bring extra pens because you know as well as I do, you go to use a pen and all of a sudden it decides, oh, I don't want to work. You know what? Let's take you out and then put you back in. Okay, these are not going with me. Don't need those to go with me. Okay, speaking of punches, I got another punch here that I want to bring. And I have scorched timber. Did I decide I wanted to bring scorched timber? Or did I? Why was it sitting aside? I think I decided I didn't need the scorched timber for this particular set of stuff. Okay. Let's pack some stuff. So this can go into the bottom of the bag. I'm gonna bring the bag right over here. All right, I packed, I, I got a bunch, of, sorry for the crinkling, it's a very noisy bag. Come on, open up. Let me move this stuff over. Bag to open, there we go. That's good. Okay, we're going to put the charms in the bottom. At least that'll stay that way. Um, I'm going to put you guys in. And you go in. You can go along the side. Actually, here, you know what? Yeah, you just fit on top. You can fit on top on anything. I do have a couple of pipe cleaners that are just hanging out loose. Let's just kind of put them together a little bit and shove them in there so they're not going to go anywhere. I'm going to put the crocodile in here. Um, okay, we're doing all right. <laughs> we're doing all right. So my large, I want that one, that's my big ruler, craft knife. Okay. Um, I have these two types of craft, craft knives. I'm only going to bring this one because the only thing that I could want to use it for would be trimming. <clears throat> and I want to be able to do several at once. So I'm going to bring my craft knife, I'm going to throw that into that box. So there's my craft knife. Tweezers are, were on, I keep those on the, on the uh, mug. <laughs> Large scissors, small scissors, they're in there. Needle nose and regular pliers. Okay, I have regular pliers, I have my needle nose, and I don't think I need to bring a separate... I've got the crocodile when I want to do things of that nature, and I have a little bag here. I'm going to go ahead and put those in there, and I'm going to put the craft knife in there as well, so that that's all together. So that's my hardware. Needle nose, regular pliers. Okay. Small bins for sorting. I have, I had, oh, I think I already stuck it in there. I put one in there. Let me see what else I have. 
Uh, <clears throat> I have another little bin for sorting. And I've, I've already got a bunch of these in there, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. And if they don't come back with me, they don't come back. The small fan is in there. Um, okay, stapler. I want my long stapler. Because at least two of the journals are going to need a long stapler. Let me put that down there. So I want that stapler. And then I can just use it for whatever. Where'd my stapler go? Stapler and staples. It's full of staples. I'm okay. Binder clips. I already got those. Safety pins. I don't have... I have bulb pins. I don't have them with me. Okay. I have bulb pins here. Um, and I want to say thank you for the Happy Mail because two different people sent me bulb pins and it was wonderful. <clears throat> so I have bulb pins. Um, as far as safety pins go. Pens, pencils, erasers. Got those packed. Okay, punches. Hang on. Um, I think this is going to be big enough for what I want. I am taking my entire... This is one of those turny things. And it has in there all my punches. There's, there's a square punch. There's a round punch. Um, there is a corner rounders. Okay, those are all in there. What I do want to do is grab extra glue. Okay, hang on. I'm getting there. My glue is way over here. And I want to, I buy it by the, the, the box full. I'm going to grab three extra glue sticks and throw them in there just to have them. Will I need that many? Probably not. Better safe than sorry, because I do not want to get halfway through this weekend and not have glue sticks. So I just threw those into one of the cases. Okay, this is my, I probably should get just a new one of these, because this one's starting to get old. So I'm going to put that there and the extra, that's my, this is the one that I use for vintage photo all the time. So that one can go there. Actually here, if I put it down with those, I won't have to worry about it falling out. Um, which means now I need another, oh, I'm having to reach for everything because nothing is nearby anymore. I'm going to grab a couple extra little index cards just to have them. Uh, where do I want to throw my index cards? In with the flat stuff. In with my flat bag. Okay. we we'll just toss them along the side and then I'll find them at some point and go, oh yeah, that's where I put those because I will have forgotten. Okay, in this one, I'm going to put my laces. I have an entire basket of laces. These are all, when I remember when I went through and I bought all those laces, these were all the pieces that are short. They're not very long. So I thought I'm going to put all my lace scraps into one basket. And then I also gathered up, pre already done, my reds and my greens. So those are ready. That bin might be, here, we'll throw the paper towels on top. Oi, this one's heavy. Okay. That one's ready to go. This one still has space. Okay, you are my bulb pins. Can I throw you in? Yes, that will fit right inside there. Okay, I'm still looking for tissues and hand wipes. I uh, got my needle nose, got my regular craft mat, paper cutter, scoreboard, 
Okay, those things are right here. And um, this is the one I'm currently working on for scraps. And I put that other one down there for stamping, but I also have this one for stamping. So I think I'm going to throw those in there as well. I know what I say about not taking your entire craft room. Okay, that's just a little bit. Oh, that was one I started too. Well, you know what? I can't take everything. We're going to leave that one here. All right, craft maps scoreboard. I still need to get my light. I need to get my cushion and my footrest. Paper bag for recyclable waste. Bone folder, that's in here. Circle hole punch corner rounder. Okay, stamps. My stamps are all right here. I haven't done my stamps yet. So I think we can put this here. my stamps down along the bottom. Um, you might be saying, well, why don't you put that? Oh, excellent. It doesn't generally go in. I have terrible time with it. And I've just changed my blade, so I should be good on that. Okay, I do want to get out my extra Fabri-Tac because that I will use a lot of and I may need to refill. So we're going to get that. So stamps are done. Oh, almost everything on there is done. Glue, scotch tape. I have my scotch tape right here. Can I, I don't know if I want to put that on top. It's very heavy. I don't think I want to put that on top there. Let me see if I can fit it in one of the other bags here. Um, sure. I can go right in there. So sketch tape is done. Um, glue book. That would be helpful. I have my glue book right here. I don't need to take that little page. Um, I probably don't need the whole book. That's pretty heavy. You know what? I'm not going to bring the big glue, glue book. Be right back. I'm back. I have a Dick Blick small catalog. This is actually from last year. Um... It is way old, so you know what? It's perfect. We're just going to throw it right in there. So now I have my glue book, and I'm going to leave the big heavy one. Fabri-Tac and glue stick, that's all there. Is there anything left on here? Okay. Labels, oh, la lace is done, washi ticket is done, beads and, hey, there's beads and germs. I knew I had it someplace, so I don't need to put it there. Um, okay, tickets, labels, and numbers. I'm going to show you what I'm bringing for that. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's just close that up and bring it over. Okay, so I can show it to you. So I have one of these from Michaels, and I took out of it a bunch that I know that I'm not going to use. I took the yellows and the purples, and what else did I take out of it? The blues, I left the greens, the oranges, the oranges are really the neutrals, the reds, and then there's some other things in here. There's die cuts and whatnot. And then I have a little cutting mat that fits right on top. I can close that up and the whole thing is coming with me, just the way it is. So that's already packed, that's ready to go. Ephemera folders, pre-cut die cuts, ribbon. I do want ribbon. Hang on. I have red and green ribbon. Okay. This page is done. So uh, I've got my paper cutter and my scoreboard in there. I still have a few things to gather. Let me go gather them and I'll be right back. Okay, I have my tissues. I have some bags for recyclable waste. Although, you know, I could always make journals out of them too. So I have one more big bag here. We'll throw you guys in here. Put you back here because the next big thing to go in here, actually, you know what, before I do that, 
are these things. Okay. So I don't need the clamp that can stay here. That just tends to live there. Okay, so I have these, which are going with me. Um, I have this one that is going with me. This is a magnet. I don't know where to put it right now. Oh, okay, you'll stick there. And I have this little one. I'm not bringing this, this is my bin of scraps. You know, that's a whole bunch of scrap things that I use, but I'm not bringing it with me right now. So I have four of these and they're all going with me. Um, this is not going with me. These can just tuck down right in there. This, I think, is full. Let's take this off the table. And we're going to take this. I'm putting things out in the hallway. Be right back. Just sticking them out here to get them, because I don't have enough room in this room. You know that. Okay. I'm going to take this other bag out in the hallway. So that's one, two, three, four bags so far and a cart. Now you may be saying, how come you're not taking your big Christmas bin? I'm not taking the big Christmas bin because I'm not using all of the stuff that's in it. I'm only using some of the stuff that's in it. So now, all right, that's my idea. These are some just scraps that I'm going to stamp on and use later. Okay, I have this big bin, which is really sticky. That's why I have this over it. These, when they get old, this type of shelf, when it gets old, it gets sticky and yucky. Um, I also have over here my ironing board. And I use the ironing board. Um, I just slide it right down along the side, I think. I use that as one of my shelf spaces. Okay, do I want to bring that shelf? I'm thinking I do. Hang on. Can I get to that shelf? Because I kind of used it up. All right, I'll get to that shelf in a minute. So at this point, the only things I have left to do, and I'll show you my table here, now that it's really close to empty, uh, that's my idea. Okay. You know what? I do want to bring these guys. After much consideration, I do want to bring them. They're my daubers. And I brought a whole lot of um, ink that I may want to daub. Okay, so I have craft mat, which is down here. Cushion for chair, which is right here. I could probably throw that in there. Cushion for the chair. Footrest. Uh, we'll see about the footrest. I don't know that I really need a footrest. Uh, tissues and Kleenexes are in there. I still have to, I have to buy hand wipes. I'm going to put that over here in big print because I am out of hand wipes and I do want to bring some of those. Craft my light. I have a light. It's downstairs. All right. I think that mostly puts me together. So I have this, which I may or may not take because it's so sticky and yucky. Um, I may grab some extra ribbons. I have a nice little bin here. Ooh, look what's in the bottom of this bin. I have some doilies that are kind of crappy and like used. I'm going to bring those. I'll leave those right in the bottom because I want to bring some Christmas ribbon. Do I just want to bring that whole tray full? See, the problem is I have not one, 
but two trays of ribbon. But I don't think I want all of them. Let me bring, I think I'll bring the silvery gold. I'm not going to bring this one. I'll swap you. Although I do like this gold. Hmm. There's just some cool stuff down in there. All right, we're bringing this this one for sure, and then maybe we'll bring that one and this one because what I haven't gotten are closures. I have toppers, stuff to make toppers. I don't have any closures. Now, when Gail Agostinelli does this, she tends to simply assemble. She brings everything pre-done, pre-made, pre-organized, and all she does is assemble so that she can sit there and talk and have conversations. Okay, I like this for a tie. I use this quite often for ties. I like that. Um... What else is in here? I've also got all those other ribbons that I brought. This is not good for the ties, not what I want. That's like a little cottony thing. Okay, nothing else in here. So we're going to put that in that way. All right, you know what I'm going to keep this out for? This is going to be for everything else that I have forgotten that I want to make sure I bring with me. Okay, I think I'm going to bring this whole thing just the way it is, and then I can easily slide it under the table over in the corner. It'll be fine. We'll tuck that up underneath it. So we're going to bring that just as it is. All right, I think we're packed. Uh, today is Friday, which means I will, I'm actually filming this on Wednesday. I leave on Thursday and I will be back on Sunday. So you're watching this on Friday and yeah, oh, it's just, you know, push things around here. All right. If you've enjoyed these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. I will try to post on Monday, um, what I did this weekend, but we'll see. I, I'm making no promises for Monday because I will be working on this until, I won't be home until about one or two o'clock on Sunday afternoon. And then uh, we are going to see a show on Sunday evening. So who knows? We don't, I have no idea if I'm going to have time on Sunday to actually get a video done. I'm going to try and get one done over the weekend, but we'll see from the craft fair. Uh, okay, I'm a little bit discombobulated. I'm going to go bobulate myself. And uh, in the meantime, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the like button, and give me comments. What have I forgotten? Tell me what I need to add to this crop list. This crop list, by the way, Packing for a Crop Retreat list, is in fact on my coffee shop. It is free. You can download it for yourself at any point if you'd like to just see um, what you, what, what's on here. All right. Till later. This is Cindy signing off.